All righty, welcome back to the Big Ski family. For us, we had uh, some time at the end of the year to just pause and reflect. And Janice, you did such a good job of journaling in your calendar all the events that happened over 2019. And we took a look back. Yeah. And what, what did you do? All I did was pull out our calendar and just start, you know, giving them an overview of everything that we did last year and just all the people that we had over for dinner, the places that we went, the fun things that we did. And it jogged everybody's memories like, oh, I forgot about that. That was this year. And um, so we got up the prime, or- Prime the pump, didn't you? We got pump, all the yeah. ideas. And then we did an exercise where we all got a pen and paper and we scheduled some time to be quiet. And we went away and answered in writing these questions. And the question, the first one was what? What were your biggest wins and successes, accomplishments in 2019? Boom, take a look back. Next question was, how did I grow spiritually last year? And who did I serve? Next question we looked at was, what worked really well in 2019? And what didn't work? Last uh, two questions we looked at. One was, what is in your heart of hearts to do? Um, the scripture says, the mind of man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. And what would be your, be, be your ideal in 2020? What would you want to see accomplished? And then the last question was, what do you think your unique ability is? And th these were just great questions. It was a great exercise. And it took some mental, it took some work actually to think about those things. Like what didn't work last year? What do I want? That is a hard question to ask. It really is. Um, but so, it was fun because yeah. each, each one did it and did a phenomenal job. It was so fun because then we all gathered out around in the family room and one by one, each person went around and shared their answer to those questions. Another fun thing that I really enjoyed was getting my journal. And this is just um, a journal that I write in every day, just more of the things that are going on in my heart and the things that the Lord is teaching me. And that was super fun to just um, Again, refresh about. you as well and yeah, all that it transpired. Janice is a very consistent journaler. Some of you may identify with that and be powerfully good at that. For me, I journal very inconsistently, um, but it was weird how her going over calendar was able to refresh so many of the things that we, that we went through in 2019. Once we had our conversation together and we everybody shared, we were um, reminded of a really cool concept that Katie, our daughter, had uh, Re kind of refreshed with this whole concept of a dream board or a vision board mm -hmm. and Denise really got excited about it and says man what if we took some of our time and did this in anticipation of 2020 yeah so after I came up with all my goals I did something a little bit different instead of putting pictures on a board I just put pictures on a box I don't know if you could see this here this is it's like, this is the dimensions of a box, yeah. Yeah, but this bow keeps the box closed. The reason why I chose a box is because I want to revisit the things that inspire me and the things I want for 2020. And each, um, at the beginning of the month, I'm gonna write down how am I doing on my goals and my passions. And so at the end of the year, I will have a box full of 12 letters. And real quick, while you have this, Janice, show yeah. them what kind of is on there. I mean, just give a few ideas of, okay. of what was important to you. So I made our the picture of you and I in the center of the box. Always a good move. And I made it a little bit bigger than everything else because I want to make sure that this is the focus in my life. Next to the Lord, I want Lord. our relationship to be doing really well. And then up here, I put an ear. I want to listen more. And so I can be, to have a tendency to just really speak fast. And um, the Bible says, you know, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. So I just really want to hear what the Lord would have me to be doing with my life. Amen. Next one is choose positivity. I want to make some juice drinks and have more of that in my life. I love this person that's just jumping with um, abundance. I don't know if you could see that, but I want to live abundantly. I need more sleep and have fun. I can tend to be a person that just marches to the beat and very likes to produce things and get things done, but I want to have a fun time while I'm doing it. Here's um, a pen saying dear, so I want to write my grandchildren. Um, mm. Chad's mm. mother wrote our children uh, at least Still once does. a month, and yeah. I had a um, shoebox full of all the letters that she wrote to my kids, so I want to continue that with my kids. 
This is a book on the 100 words of affirmation for my husband. His love language is words of affirmation, and so I want to get better at that. Um, jogging, staying fit. Here's the phone. I want to stay in touch with my mom more and my daughters that don't live next to me. Um, community. We want to be more about local and the people in our lives that are here, and we want to build a strong community. Um, Neo Life is just supplements that I take that I want to continue doing that. Of course, being in the Word. And these are this is a list of books. I just want to continue to grow in the areas of actually learning about marriage and relationships. And so there are some people and some books that I would like to read. Um, up here, I put a picture of each one of my kids um, individually because I want to treat them as individuals. I want them to each feel very special and loved. So. As you can see, I think Janice just did a phenomenal job of really kicking off this thing, creating these vision boards or boxes. And a lot of the children have now taken time to go identify pictures that align with their goals. And we wanna have them explain a little bit what they're passionate about going into 2020. All right, Kenzie, so you got your dream board here and or vision board. What is it, what is it that you've got on there? What stands out? Give us a couple pointers. Um, I like this one because I wanna do more ukulele and I'm really excited about that for 2020. And then I also like this one because I want to be more adventurous and do more adventurous things with my sisters. And then I really like this one also because I love fishing and that's something I want to do more this year. So yeah, those are a few of them. That's so fun. And it looks like you've got things for your Bible time here. You've got things for taking nutrition. I, th I think you said this one's about getting along with one of your brothers mm -hmm. a little better. I love it, Kenzie. Well done. Thank okay. you so much. <laughs> Caroline, thank you so much. You're you welcome. made a vision board. This is your second year that you've I done did. this. I did, this is year two. And year two, and yours, you went all out. But give us a couple of the, the things that stand out that you're excited about. Okay, you go well, into next I'm year. really excited about, we're really going to JH Ranch this summer, which I'm super pumped about. Not as a camper this time. Not as a camper this time Hopefully on staff. staff. Um, I'm really excited about leaving the country for the first time. Where? That'll be cool, France. France, Wah -wah. that's what the flag's France. all about, yeah. And then I am going to start doula training. Doula training, what is a doula? doula? A doula is a coach for pre-birth, during birth, and after birth. For moms? For moms. No way. Moms, so that's where they call the midwife, not 911, <laughs> yeah. is doula training. Yeah, it's doula How training. How exciting, you've got stuff on there for all kinds of stuff. I see stuff for Duolingo, Spanish, yep. fitness, eating well. Etsy, saving. Yeah. All your priorities, Bible time journal, just all this stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. Caroline, it's inspiring. I'm really artistic. Well done. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So, Chloe, you've got a little uh, dream vision board there. What do you've got yes. on there? Give me two or three of the highlights to stand out. Okay, so I want to do more art this year. Okay. Um, so it says create. And yeah. then also I want to do more photography. Yeah. Um, and then I'm also excited about my our Costa Rica trip yes. this June. And I will learn Spanish for that. Nice. Got Duolingo on there. You got yeah, stuff quite for a few other things. Awesome. A Bible that is falling apart belongs to someone that is not falling apart. I love it. All sorts yeah. of good things. Chloe, it looks beautiful. It's inspiring. Well done. Thanks. So Barrington, yeah. what do you got there? Uh -oh, my dream board. Dream board? What do you, okay, first of all, I see you wrapped it in Mount Bachelor trail maps that's kind of creative because it was kind of ugly because it's a cardboard box. yeah yeah <laughs> so, um, spruced yeah. it up what are the other thing couple things that stand out to you that you're excited um, about money okay you want to earn save uh, duolingo duolingo costa rica yeah learn some spanish and uh get in the word more get in the day. word more i love that and you got again i see all sorts of stuff i see smiley faces jumping off cliffs fearless initiative be more positive eat fresher you got all sorts of things covered on there yep very good well done so kimberly you got a dream board or a vision I board do. there what uh what shows up for you out there um probably i want to buy a car this summer. yes okay um, probably not a bronco but probably you know, not a we'll bronco see what but maybe pocket <laughs> okay and then uh hiking with my sisters and snow camping is uh, a oh, priority for yeah, me yeah and then getting better at skiing yeah Ooh. um and these are fitness goals i want to be able to run well and uh, get in better shape that way. Yeah. Um, do more with my art. Yeah. Uh, start a Bible study. Get awesome. more in God's word, and then be a good friend to the people that God's put in my life. So, so good, Kimberly. It's beautiful. <laughs> Love all you. the design elements. I'm super fun, like drawing, because I like doing the. And you did all the words yourself. Yeah. So I did all the calligraphy and everything. So but, nice. Yeah. Inspiring. Well done. Thanks. Thank you, Cami.
I tracked uh, Baylor down here, yeah. and in, you have your dream board or vision board on your room I do. Uh, wall here. Yeah. So what do we got? A couple things to stand okay, out. Okay, so we've got, uh, I'm really excited for the summer. I want to work at Jade Ranch, volunteer there. Um, both my parents did, and a lot of my older siblings, and it's really rich, and I'm super excited for it. Awesome. Um, there's this little dude skiing, uh, skiing up here, and I love skiing, um, and I want to get some days on the mountain yeah. with my family. And uh, up here, it's, this guy is a little leader, and he leads by example. And uh, he's just walking along, breaking the path for younger siblings. I like and that. And cousins and friends that can follow behind in his footsteps. Love that. So it's good. top three. Those are top three. You got yep. all sorts of other things here. I got some all fitness, sorts of action. Music, yeah, some music. Bible and, time, some uh, jiu-jitsu. Yeah, there's a little dude in uh, Uganda that I've been uh, supporting for the last six months. And I'll keep doing that. That's awesome. And uh, Paris, traveling, uh, worship, and uh, thankfulness uh, for Heavenly Father and uh, cliff diving, jujitsu. There's all sorts of action. So, so good, Baylor. Yep. Well done. I'm inspired looking at it. Here's the here's the important thing. We realize you may be seeing this in January. You may be seeing this in June. It doesn't matter when you take time to get intentional about your time. Mm -hmm. And there's never a bad time to sit down and say, "What is the dream the Lord's put on my heart? What are the visions He's placed yeah. in our family?" Right. And it's all action. about progress, not perfection. Love that. Yeah. Love that. So that's kind of our little uh, our little end of the year recap, capture the learning from last year and the learning, and then really build out an awesome 2020. And can't wait to share at the end of this year how we progressed. And hopefully that's been helpful for you guys and your families. If you choose to sit down and answer some of these questions or do some of these things, we'd love to hear about what Absolutely. you do, how that's working Absolutely. for your family. Um, that would be so encouraging for us and a blessing to other people who read as well. So feel free to um, drop that down below. Please. Blessings. Take care.